Well, it wasn't supposed to start quite like this. Democrats thought unity or lack of it was a Republican problem this year. And since Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren had already endorsed Hillary Clinton, what could possibly go wrong at the Democratic National Convention? Well, the first Fisher emerged Friday with the announcement of Tim Kaine as Clinton's pick for VP. Universally regarded as a safe choice and a nice guy, some of Sanders' most progressive supporters balked at his middle-of-the-road credentials. And then faster than you can say wiki, a veritable canyon opened up between some Clinton and Sanders camp members. Thousands of emails sent among the members of the Democratic National Committee pointed to a concerted effort to undermine Sanders' campaign, something he alleged all along. 19,000-plus emails from seven top DNC representatives were hacked and shared by WikiLeaks. One question how Sanders' faith, or lack of, lack of it, could be exploited to Clinton's advantage. In another, the outgoing chair called Sanders' campaign manager a damn liar. <laughs> Facing a huge backlash, Debbie Wasserman Schultz was forced to step down from her role as DNC chair. That was her at the Florida delegation this morning. Because the party apparatus is supposed to be impartial until a candidate has been officially nominated. Hillary Clinton was asked about the emails during an interview she did for 60 Minutes. Did you know anything about any of that? No, and I, I didn't know anything about it, and, and I haven't uh, read any of those, but I am adamantly opposed to anyone bringing religion into yeah. our political process. I, I mean, the Constitution says no religious tests, so that is just absolutely wrong and unacceptable. But maybe the point, Madam Secretary, is you have people in the Democratic National Committee who are supposed to be, if you will, agnostic about who the nominee is going to be, and they seem to have their thumb on the scale for you. They seem to be working against Bernie Sanders, their fellow Democrat. Again, I don't know anything I don't know anything about uh, about these uh, emails. Today, Sanders didn't have a much success trying to convince his supporters they need to help make sure Donald Trump doesn't become president. We have got to elect Hillary Clinton and Tim Kaine. Maybe you should have said no one cares about those damn emails. And this controversy comes as Donald Trump is enjoying a not unexpected post-convention bounce. CNN poll now finds him at 48 to Clinton's 38 percent. Libertarian Gary Johnson at 9. Green Party candidate Jill Stein at 3. Joining me now is State Senator Jamie Eldridge. He's a Democrat from Acton and a Sanders delegate. Senator, thanks so much for joining me. When Sanders, Jim, thanks for having me on. Sure. When Sanders said support Hillary Clinton and he was booed at this delegate gathering early this afternoon, were you among the people who did the jeering, the booing? I, I was at the rally, but I was I was applauding Senator Sanders' statement that we need to get behind Hillary Clinton. And I think I think Jim really there's a process going on around now to get delegates behind Hillary Clinton. And it's gonna take, I think, you know, over the next couple weeks or couple months, but I do think the vast majority of Bernie delegates will be working for and supporting Hillary Clinton. So even though you weren't booing, Senator, was the booing disappointment that their guy, your guy, wasn't the nominee, or was it an anti-Hillary, anti-party kind of thing? I think it was probably a little bit of both. I mean, certainly when you lose, uh, there's some frustration. But I think also there are some people that feel that, you know, Hillary Clinton has been too much of a centrist for a big part of her career. And, you know, they had an opportunity to express that. But the polling that we've seen from Sanders supporters is that over 80 percent of them are planning to vote for Hillary Clinton in the fall. So I, I really think it's not just about the booing, but the fact that people are getting to the point of agreeing to support Secretary Clinton. What happens when Bernie Sanders takes to the podium tonight and says the same thing? Are the, del are the Sanders delegates going to boo Hillary Clinton's name yet again? <laughs> Well, I, I certainly won't be. And first of all, you know, tonight is Bernie Sanders' night. He's speaking. Uh, Senator Warren is speaking. So it's really a night for progressives. And he's going to talk about his progressive vision. And I think, you know, the connection to supporting Secretary Clinton in the fall is how we get closer to that. 
Obviously, there's differences between the two candidates on issues, but it's important to remember we now have the most progressive Democratic Party platform in the party's history. That's in large part due to Senator Sanders, and we're going to keep working on the movement going forward. You know, that's what I wanted to talk about, the platform. You said it's going to be a process, Senator Eldridge. It's for the, the, uh, for the Sanders people to ultimately get where you think they need to be. I know you're supporting Secretary Clinton now, but what more do they need to hear? They, the platform went to your guy on the minimum wage. The platform went to your guy on the public option. On and on down the list. The only thing it didn't include was the condemnation of the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Essentially, it could have been a Bernie Sanders platform. So if that's not enough for them, what is? Well, I think what you will see here in Philadelphia is you have people, including Secretary Clinton, that will be speaking to all the delegates, and it's her opportunity to connect to the progressive issues that perhaps Sanders delegates care very passionately about. And this is an opportunity for her to carry out her vision and connect them to that to get them working for Hillary Clinton in the fall and getting them to vote for her in November. So let's assume she says all the things you once said. You've seen the recent polls. In the last few days, her numbers on trust and honesty are just really in the toilet, in the, the much worse, actually, than uh, the Donald Trump's. We'll mention in a minute, double digit worse than Donald Trump. So if people don't believe her and don't think she's honest, when she stands up Thursday night and embraces all things Bernie, why are they going to believe her any more come Friday morning than they do Monday afternoon? Well, I think the fact that we went through a platform committee process where she you know, did consent to the platform moving to the left. I think that's something that um, I give her great credit for. And I think, again, the convention, that's what convention's for, is an opportunity to connect her values and her beliefs, the Democratic Party, to delegates, and obviously uh, the audience. And I, and I think that will get, a, get Bernie supporters closer to supporting her. I will say, Jim, in Massachusetts right now, you know, Bernie supporters are ready. Uh, many of them are ready to help out Secretary Clinton. So I'm seeing that in the district I represent. So I really don't think they're too far apart. Is it, but is the conversion, is the movement from Sanders, passionate Sanders people like you, to Clinton, is it about, okay, Hillary Clinton now is embracing much of our agenda, or is it because Donald Trump, in your estimation, is the worst threat to whatever you care about of your lifetime? Is it anti-Trump or pro-Clinton? Well, I think it's a bit of both, and one of the things that Senator Sanders said when he conceded to Secretary Clinton is, this election can't just be about Donald Trump. It also has to be about a positive vision for America. I think that, you know, his vision uh, is best, re is, is, is well reflected in the platform. I think that Secretary Clinton is going to connect to that during this week's convention. And as far as what Senator Sanders is doing going forward, Clearly, he's uh, going to be supporting Secretary Clinton, but he also, I think, is going to be talking about the longer progressive movement, movement I'm very proud to be a part of. And I think that, you know, going forward, it's not just about electing Hillary Clinton or opposing Donald Trump, but it's a longer progressive movement, including, quite honestly, holding every Democratic elected official accountable, whether it's myself at the local level up to, up to uh, President Clinton. One last thing. Uh, one of the central themes of your guys' campaign was uh, taken on Wall Street and Hillary Clinton's close ties to Wall Street, whether it was the 250 grand a speech or the ideological connection. Do you think she's really shed that or she's saying the right thing? Are you confident that she'll do with Wall Street what you and Bernie Sanders want her to do? I think she's gotten a lot closer. I, I would concede that the, the speeches to Wall Street you know, we're damaging, but I think that, you know, her commitment to take on, on Wall Street has gotten stronger. And I think, quite honestly, Secret S Senator Sanders' endorsement of Secretary Clinton is a way to show uh, her commitment to taking on Wall Street. So I think, I think she's moving, but I think that there needs to be more seen, and I hope that is reflected in her speech this week. Senator Eldridge, enjoy the convention. Thanks so much for your time. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Jim.